Hi, it's Steve from Parts Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the lid switch assembly on your washer, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a 5 16 nut driver, and maybe a quarter inch socket and ratchet. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to disconnect power to the appliance, so simply pull the plug, and we'll also need to pull the washer far enough forward that we can access the upper back panel. And we'll start by removing the three Phillips screws across the top of that back panel and the two quarter inch hex head screws along the bottom of it. So begin by removing the three Phillips screws across the top of that upper back panel. And then we'll remove the two quarter inch hex head screws along the bottom. And lift the panel away, set it aside. Now next we'll need to remove two more quarter inch hex head screws that hold the console to the main top. And if your nut driver is a little bit too long for that, we can use the quarter inch ratchet. Now with those two screws removed, we can grasp that console and just give it a sharp pull forward. Maybe a little bump if you need to. And that will release the catches on the bottom. And then we can lift it up and out of the slots on the main top. We now have access to the lid switch assembly that we can remove all of the wires from as well as the 5 16 mounting screw. Now take note of the location of the wires and if need be use your digital camera to take a picture of them so you'll make it easier to reassemble them or write them down. So I'm going to start by removing that 5 16 screw. We'll set that aside because we will need to reuse it. And then lift the assembly up on the left side to unhook the two tabs on the right hand side. And they fit down into two slotted openings on that main top. And that will also expose the lid switch lever, so be careful that we don't knock that out of position. And then we're simply going to exchange wire for wire. And if they're on there very snug, you can take a pair of needle nose pliers and just gently pull those off. And make sure all of these wire connections are nice and tight. Now when we reinstall the new assembly, we'll want to make sure that we have those two tabs fitted down into those slotted openings. And then we're going to line up that unbalanced lid switch lever into the center of the opening. And as we lower it down into position, you'll see where it will come up through from the top. And as we lower that down into position, we'll want to make sure that it fits into that slot on the bottom of the lid switch assembly. Then it should lay flat. Now holding the switch assembly tight down onto the main top, if you slide it forward and back, you should hear the click of the lid switch operating. So once we hear that, we know we have it position into the right spot. So we can start by putting that retaining screw back in. And we won't tighten it yet because we do have to make an adjustment to that assembly so that the machine will stop when the lid is opened at the right position. Now with the lid opened about an inch and a half to two inches at the front edge, we're just going to slide this switch assembly forward just enough till we hear that switch 
operate and then we're going to tighten that screw at that point. Then just raise and lower the lid a couple of times to verify that we still have it in the proper position. And then we can put the console back into position. We'll line up the two tabs on either end of that console with the slotted openings in the top. Sit it down into position. Make sure it's sitting flush to the top. And then just give it a sharp tap on either end to push it backwards. And then we'll install those two quarter inch screws in the corners. We'll reinstall the upper back panel and tighten all of these screws securely so that we don't have any rattles. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.